welcome back to art everybody look what i made we are going to be investigating pop art sculptures don't they look real don't they look delicious so today we're going to be looking at the swedish artist klaus oldenberg and we are going to be creating our own donuts you will need the newspaper that was in your bag the masking tape grab some scissors and the white tube of paint that came with your watercolour paint. There's also plaster that I wrapped in cling wrap and you'll be using that. So you'll need some water, maybe a little bowl with some water. It will be a bit messy today, so I advise you to wear an outsmock and I advise you to cover your table. It's gonna be very exciting. So our Swedish artist, Klaus Oldenburg, he worked alongside of artists like Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. We all remember this from last year. He created artwork out of everyday objects, very simple objects like donuts and food and cherries and hamburgers. Initially, he started creating them by using cardboard and newspaper, but then he moved on to using plaster and enamel paint so that those objects could go outside. He placed them outside next to grey, boring buildings so that people would laugh and have a sense of humour. They're colourful, they're cheerful, and they take the everyday object and they elevate it and make it very important. Let's look at how we are going to create our donut. First of all, cut up smaller strips of newspaper, then twist them. To save time, cut up lots of pieces of masking tape and pop them on the table next to you. To start with, create a ring using three pieces of paper and taping them together with masking tape. You are going to be working on this by adding more and more pieces of newspaper, weaving them through, adding lots of tape and turning it into a donut-like shape. Keep going and adding those pieces of newspaper and masking tape until your donut is big enough. Next step is to cover your donut with plaster bandage. Cut them into thinner strips. Each strip needs to be popped into water one at a time. Rinse off the excess water so water isn't dripping everywhere. should have enough plaster to cover your whole donut if you're mindful about where you place it and you're not wasteful. Remember to rub in the plaster with water so that it becomes smooth before you set it to dry. Your donut will take a little bit of time to dry. And once you've put your white paint on it so that we can paint on top, we can look at painting that next week. We're going to be creating some designs first before we do that. We can varnish those at school once we've finished. So don't stress about that. I have not sent varnish home with you. I hope you have as much fun as I did. And I hope that you can create something that makes people think. Have fun!